Welcome to Prepper Now. Please, Lord, help me get one more. All right, folks, welcome back to Prepper Now. Do it a little bit differently today because uh, we're in a different car and I don't have all of my uh, my mobile setup for my mobile <laughs> chat. I don't know, you know. Today we're in the big car, so. But we'll talk about uh, how you have uh, a little bit of time before Israel basically strikes Iran. I think. I think. Uh, you get till about Sunday. They had their big meeting yesterday. Still doing operations in southern Lebanon. Still really dropping the hammer on Gaza. And the reason why is because Bibi Netanyahu thinks that he's got an opportunity to reshape these groups and even go after the leader of it in their mind, which of course is Iran. So he's at odds with uh, the administration. Uh, they of course don't want anything to happen because it's an election year. They know that uh, things start to happen. This is going to hurt them in Wisconsin and Michigan where there's a, a preponderance of voters that are uh, sympathetic to the uh, Muslims in the Middle East, because they're Muslims. Places like Dearborn. So you got kind of a, a rift there. Um, I think the administration is trying to juggle everything, but they know inevitably Netanyahu is going to do what he wants to do, which is, as he said, it's a, an opportunity. I think it's the word he, he used. So I think because of that, there will be a strike. Now, there's different forms of that. They could be uh, a few different things. It could be, first and foremost, uh, they go after the nuclear facilities that have been growing. Now, honestly, of the three, this is the most bang for your buck, and the reason why is because, you know, Iran is, is supposedly going to be coming out and saying, hey, we've got a nuclear bomb now. Okay, so if Israel were to, to want to do something that would be the most bang for their buck, send in the Air Force and take out all these nuclear sites, go and just drop, you know, the, the big bunker busters and, and really try to go after this underground network that they have of the creation of of weapons of a nuclear style. Washington doesn't want that. Next one, Washington really doesn't want, is them going after oil facilities. Take out their uh, gas fields and everything else and make it so their boats can't float and their jets can't fly. You know, go after the uh, the fuel centers and everything else. The problem with that is that it will send the price of gas skyrocketing and skyrocketing gas is not going to work out well for the administration. So, now what Washington said to him yesterday is why don't you do a bunch of economic packages, you know, and make it so they can't do anything. Now you and I both know that's very weak and it's not going to stop uh, Iran from trying to strike back or, you know, strong response or even years to come acts of uh, sabotage, terror, or anything else. And then there's the, uh, you know, other option, which is go after uh, military stuff and try to do some targets on the upper management. Now this Connie, this Ismail Connie guy is is under lock and key and they say that he was the rat. They say he's the one that was able to tell 
Israel of all the different things going on, where Nasrallah was, yada, yada, yada. Do we know it's true? We don't. But in their minds, now the guy's, uh, he supposedly suffered a heart attack and he's not in good health, yada, yada. Who knows what goes on from there? Key thing is, is that there's going to be a response by Israel and then there's going to be a response by Iran. And then, I mean, everybody's basically prepping for a larger regional war and whatever that looks like. Israel is not really communicating with America anymore. I mean, they are, but they're not, like, explicit in what they're going to do. The administration is totally worried about the optics and losing the election and it hurting them politically. And you and I should be concerned about what it will do to our, our gas tanks and prices and everything else. I mean, they're saying that $200 a barrel oil is well within the possibility and realm of uh, probable skyrocketing uh, pricing. So $150, $200 a barrel gas, I mean, you're talking 6 to $8 a, a, a gallon gas. So wrap your head around that. It really does look like there is going to be a regional war. Now, how intense it gets, I don't know. Are you going to have to worry about things, you know, happening over here from it? Besides financially, not really. I mean, maybe uh, acts of terror, you know, people come over and try to do like what they did to that mall in Russia and, and stuff like that where they just go in and just cause disruption and, and do, you know, a couple of really violent acts that do terrible things to scare everybody and disrupt. That's definitely possible. So, I would uh, expect early next week some kind of a response by Israel. And then by next weekend, who knows? It's going to be uh, interesting. Unless something out of left field really happens. You know, there was talk of uh, Zelensky doing a ceasefire. Then he, he walked that back. We got the big meeting in Rammstein. You got the new NATO head. Uh, Root, I think his name is. Everything is going towards more a war footing. So you should be doing the same thing. What happens in war? Well first thing that dies is the truth second thing uh, that goes is uh, your ability to access stuff rationing, you know, prices go up, you can't do this, you can't do that so get ready for all that kind of stuff, but I think it's pretty much an assured thing that Iran is, is in, and Israel are going to go after each other so Prepare accordingly, okay? That is everything that I know. And where does this information come from? It's the Crisis Report. Crisis Report is over my backup channel or other channel now. Uh, go check that out. It links in the description, youtube.com forward slash at Crisis Report. Go check that out. I think I just passed 10,000 subscribers. Love to have you there. Tabulate it all. Put it all out there. There won't be a report there tonight because I'm too busy, but there will be tomorrow. So, make sure you're tuned in, because I'll probably have it, at least before most people, and an ability to tell you a little bit better clarity where things are going. All right, friends. God bless. Check out the links in the description. Do the like button and all that. Hit the buttons. Subscribe. Darken out the bell if you're new here. And uh, we'll keep it coming. God bless.